I'm Lisa Blanc, therapist, author, and life coach, and today I'm talking about triangulation, what it is, seven reasons that narcissists rely on this manipulation tactic, and at the end of this video, I will give you three tips on how to deal with triangulation. Please keep in mind that triangulation is not exclusive to narcissists or to romantic relationships. Okay, so triangulation is a psychological manipulation tactic that involves deliberately bringing a third person into a conversation or into a relationship in order to manipulate and control the dynamics. Here's an example of triangulation. Let's say your narcissistic girlfriend introduces you to one of her female friends. The friend seems kind enough, but your girlfriend tells you that she doesn't want to hang out with her anymore because she's promiscuous, unstable, and constantly creating drama. But as time goes on, you realize that they're remaining close friends. Now, what you don't know is that your girlfriend is also portraying you in a bad light to her friend and fabricating or twisting stories, making you both look bad to each other. So you barely know the friend, she barely knows you, and yet you both have a negative bias towards each other, all because your perceptions of each other have been manipulated by someone that you both think you can trust. Here's another example. Let's say your girlfriend starts talking to you about a male colleague and she goes on and on about how smart and funny and how rich he is and oh, did she mention that he's hitting on her too? You don't know this guy, but already you don't like him because you see him as a threat to your relationship. Meanwhile, maybe the guy doesn't even exist. Maybe he's never even noticed her. Or maybe they are colleagues and maybe she's talking to him about the problem she's having with you and painting you out to be a horrible boyfriend. In any case, you're feeling insecure and in competition with this, you know, enemy that the narcissist has created for you. There are many ways that a person can triangulate, but here are seven of the main reasons why narcissists love to use this manipulation tactic. Number one is to gain power and control. The narcissist seeks to maintain control and power in the relationship by keeping others off balance, by shifting alliances, and controlling the narrative. Number two is to validate their victim stance. Triangulation allows the narcissist to play the victim while gaining validation and support. No matter what the problem they're having in any of their relationships, there are always people primed to side with them and support their victim stance. Number three is to create conflict and competition. Triangulation is used to create drama and conflict by invoking feelings of insecurity, jealousy, causing people to work against each other as they compete for the attention and the approval of the narcissist. Number four is to create confusion and chaos. Triangulation creates all of this confusion, allowing the manipulator to divert attention away from their own behavior um, by focusing on the perceived threat or the involvement of the third party. And by doing this, the manipulator sidesteps any accountability for their own actions. And even if you catch on to the narcissist's efforts to triangulate, you may struggle to understand the motives behind their actions and you may find yourself in a vicious cycle of conflicting thoughts and emotions. If you missed my video on cognitive dissonance, please click on the link above. Number five is simply to get what they want. The narcissist feels entitled to get what they want by whatever means necessary, so triangulation is often used strategically to further their agenda and get whatever outcome they are seeking. Number six is to foster a sense of superiority. So the narcissist gets a sense of satisfaction and superiority knowing that they can control all the puppets in the puppet show. It makes them feel smart, talented, special when they can emotionally manipulate other people. They 
don't even mind getting caught because weaseling their way out of some situation gives them even more of a sense of superiority. Number seven is just for kicks. Sometimes narcissists triangulate just because they can. It's a game that they play with people just for fun. So if you're being emotionally manipulated and triangulated, here's some things that you can do. Number one, walk away. Don't play the game. It's not worth it. And if you absolutely can't walk away, then just know that every word the narcissist or their associates utter may be tainted. It's like drinking out of a poisoned well. Everyone around the narcissist is being poisoned and you need to find a new well to drink from. And again, if you can't for whatever reasons, then recognize the manipulations, keep your emotional distance, limit contact, and filter whatever water is being handed to you. Uh, understand again that everyone involved with the narcissist, anyone in that circle is being tainted and they are a tool whether they know it or not. Number two, stop trying to make sense of the chaos that the narcissist is creating. This will only take you further and further away from the truth. Instead of trying to get understanding or support from others who are stuck in the narcissist's web of lies, go find a few people from their past and you'll quickly discover that your experience is not unique. Lastly, figure out what made you susceptible to the narcissist manipulation tactics. It may be easier to blame the narcissist, but if you don't know what got you into this relationship and into this situation in the first place, what's going to prevent it from happening in the future? Sure, you may get better at recognizing the red flags but you must also have the confidence and the self-worth to assert yourself and to maintain healthy boundaries in your relationships. Most people need the help of a coach or a counselor for this, so if you have a pattern of being triangulated or of being in toxic relationships, then reach out to someone in your area who can help you get to the root of this problem. Vulnerable narcissists especially can be very subtle and covert in their manipulation tactics. They love to use others to do their dirty work and often derive a perverse sense of superiority by setting bombs in their own backyard and then standing back and taking cover while it blows up in everyone's face. And what's odd about this is that they're blowing up the people that are closest to them, the people that are supposed to matter most to them. And yet they continue to orchestrate this conflict, sabotaging and destroying their own relationships and lives. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and to learn more about the manipulation tactics associated with covert narcissism, click on the link above.